you can't remember. Hey, friends, welcome back to another interesting recap is about a young man's affair with a schizophrenic, middle-aged boss lady, and all from a 2022 film called Empire of Light, directed by Sam Menz. Hillary was a very lonely, middle-aged woman with schizophrenic behavior caused mainly by her hate for men because of the things they would do to women and get away with depending on her previous relationships, including her father for the things he always did to her mother, mainly adultery set. In the 80s, Hillary worked as a duty manager at a cinema theater called Empire of Light, and still, her boss called Donald Ellis would harass her into casual affairs that she didn't want, but had no choice because she wanted to protect her job. This all changed when a young man called Stephen was hired at the theater as the only black guy, and somehow a pigeon with a broken wing bought them together after he asked Hillary to help him fix its wing in the abandoned old cinema. But like most people with schizophrenic behaviors, she would easily lose her temper over small issues and then get back to normal. Her boss's affairs with her in his office would also continue to torment her, and his excuse was that he and his wife were leaving in separate rooms for a whole. Besides the fact that he liked being around her, she knew she was just being used. One night on New Year's Eve, Steve asked Hillary to watch fireworks with her on the rooftop. And because she was all alone, she was very happy that someone had asked for her company. So he joined her, but then in the middle of the fireworks, she got caught up and acted inappropriately. She got ashamed not only because of what she had done but also because of her age and ran away though Steve was okay with what she was trying to. They started spending most of their time together and for once in a long time, she had got a friend she was free with Steve told her about his college admission problems because of his skin color, and she encouraged him to keep trying to apply for his architecture course. Days later, they went back to the abandoned cinema to check on the pigeon with the broken wing, which had healed, and just after they set it free, they got caught up in the moment, and this time they had an affair. Hillary couldn't believe that a woman at her age with wrinkles would get a chance with a young man in his early 20s. So from this day, the two were inseparable and they would use the abandoned cinema as their secret meeting place for their romantic moments. The problem was these were the days of too much discrimination, and Steve being that he was the only black guy at the cinema, some customers would intentionally humiliate him and she would cool him down not to fire himself because she really needed him to the fact that with him around her, she no longer took her medication for schizophrenia. One day they got into a misunderstanding after a fellow worker at the cinema called Neil told her that he knew about their secret affair. And when Steve suggested to her to just pause their relationship for a bit, she thought he was ashamed of her because of her age, not knowing he was trying to save himself. Because these days, a white person and a black person wear a no-no in the eyes of the public. She went back to her apartment in tears and didn't show up for work for the next few days. The next day she showed up. It was a very big day at the cinema with big people invited, and she also showed up as a guest. She went to the stage and gave a speech, even though she was not supposed to, advising people to stop any sort of discrimination despite their skin color. From there, she got the chance to meet with her boss's wife, and she told her the truth about them. Days later, she was forcefully administered to the hospital because of her schizophrenic condition getting worse. And five months later, Steve got into a relationship with a young woman called Ruby. He knew from way back after this, that when Hillary got back from the hospital, she was re-employed at the cinema theater. And days later, whites were striking for black people to take on their jobs. And Steve was beaten badly in that he got broken ribs and lost a number of. Good enough. His mother was a nurse at the hospital where he was admitted, so she took good care of him as Hillary also constantly visited him, which took weeks, and his mother had no problem with their relationship despite Hillary's age provided Steve was happy to cut the long story short just when their relationship was going to its peak. Steve got a place in college and she had no choice but to let him go with hope. They would keep writing to each other and seeing each other in holidays if you have come this far. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing. Cup. And here's the coming home.